Okay, so now you'll, you'll probably notice that we're about four or five videos in and uh, we haven't actually done anything with the artwork that we've imported and um, I apologize for that but it is um, just a necessity of learning all the initial um, important concepts and tools and menus that will serve you later on when uh, you want to make edits and you want to change the resolution or all these sorts of things they're very important so a few more videos of this stuff and then we'll get into the nitty-gritty of actually um, editing and drawing so uh, now another video um, about preferences and document settings exciting stuff okay so we'll go up to file um, and down to um, oh, no you know, down to document setup there it is um, now document color mode as we mentioned before you can quickly change the document color from CMYK to RGB so you can uh, operate in both in a document in which you might want to both print and upload to the internet so you can check the different um, effects of your the different appearance of your colors um, but document setup you can also get through a shortcut alt control P um, or you'll notice if we have our selection tool selected nothing selected uh, in our control bar you can see the document setup and preferences um, shortcut buttons um, in the control bar. Really useful so we can go and change options as we go along. I'll start off by looking at document setup. You can see our window um, here. Um, view and view options. Now this is a really important one, your units. Now we always work in architecture and in uh, um, the southern hemisphere, in Australia that is, in millimeters. So select millimeters and you'll see we can edit our bleed I mentioned before in millimeters transparency so I wouldn't worry about that too much for the moment but we can see the grid and we can see the background and we can change them um, the colors there for our own preference and we can choose a few different options for type I, I usually use that as default but you can have a play with that and see uh, what difference it makes to the text on the screen so click OK okay now let's have a look at the preferences uh, we can and we can access the preferences if it isn't available in our control bar um, by going to edit and then scrolling down to preferences down the bottom and we can choose our particular preference menu we want to um, access or if we just bring up our general we can select all those different um, preference options uh, in the drop down menu there or the preference subjects perhaps so in general we can choose a few different things I there's not much you need to change in general apart from in, in the preferences um, menu that I find um, initially apart from the units. So we'll go down to units, the drop down menu, and we'll see that we have millimeters selected, our stroke is in millimeters, and our type is in points. Now if you're familiar with Microsoft Word, you'll be familiar with uh, the size 14 for text, 16, 24, 36, all those multiples of two. Um, those are measured in points. So if you want to maintain the same sort of uh, editing of text system that you might use in Microsoft Word, then points are a good one to use. Uh, millimeters will let you know exactly how big it is, but given that I've got more experience with um, appropriate text sizes in points, I usually use points. Okay. There are a few other options that we can choose. If we want to edit our grid, you'll learn about that in another video. Um, specify a few things to do with the user interface the appearance of black, all these specifics you might want to edit, you can find in the preference panel. This is uh, this tutorial is more just to show you, this is where you do all the, all the things, um, edit all the options that you might want to um, help you customize um, your Illustrator experience. So to, to conclude, if I click OK there, um, document setup and preferences are the two locations for most of the options that you'll need to set in Illustrator CS5.